Chapter 2 of The Continuation of the Foursome Title Taylor X. Criscotanthi Chapter 1 Mamma Mia! Side note from the author. P.S. Why the hell are kids playing outside at 10 o'clock at night? Where are your parents? Sorry, there's some kids are playing outside my house. Present day. Night of the enemy attack. Previously on foursome. Come <laughs> on, open up! A man screamed from somewhere within the cave. Well, shit. Taylor's point of view. Shit, 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 shit. Grab all the papers and the blow darts. Yemo yelled out, We need to get out of here. I quickly gather I quickly gather the letters that my loves had written me and stuff them into my jacket. As I turn around I see BMJ shoving all of the inventory into a leather duffel bag and Yemo climbing up the air ducts above. Climbing into the air ducts above. I quickly follow them as the doors break in. <laughs> The soldiers slowly file into the dark cave, shining their flashlights. I swear to God, PMJ, if your fucking twinkle toes go off in this air duct, I will kill you. Yuma whisper yelled. Hey, it's not like I was expecting to be ambushed today. I just wanted to go and watch Mamma Mia too with my goddamn twinkle toes. BMJ whisper yelled back, Just go! I whisper yelled at both of them. BMJ muttered something, but neither I nor Yemo heard it. The criminal friend slow- Oops, I kind of changed your point of view there. Okay. Uh, the criminal friend slowly crawled through the metal air ducts above the cave. The sounds of the soldiers walking around them continued, oblivious to what was happening above them. Here we are. Wait, no. Here we are. Plan B, BMJ said rather loudly and started stomping her twinkle toes in the dark room. The light from her shoes helped me find the light switch to the room. As the lights turned on, I saw where we were. The prison room. Or what I would call it. A fan's heaven. From left to right, the room... Wait, from left to right were rooms with only a glass pane between us and them. Each room decorated the way the prisoner wanted. You know, because we're nice, we're nice captors. For example, cell 203 held the ghost of Michael Jackson and was decorated with, like, thriller stuff, because, you know, he's a ghost. Uh, yeah, he was hard to catch. But, uh, let, let's just say I had to call for some extra help, Yemo told me. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> uh, as we walked down the hall to the lever, we saw BMJ ahead of us bowing to one of the cells and whispering quietly. What are you doing? I asked. She quickly got up and said, sorry. What the? Oh my god, somebody's getting robbed. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> she got up quickly and said, sorry, slightly confused, I dusted it off until me and Yima walked by the cell she was at, Beyonce's, uh, yeah, I forgot, BMJ's head, I am so sorry, Miss Carter, I never wanted to hurt you, <laughs> back to Taylor. Once we reached the end of the hallway, we were exhausted, each of us saying hi to all of, our, all of the celebs that we captured over the years. Yemo breaking down a couple of times to emo stars, BMJ crying, me hyperventilating, and considering that the length of the hallway was only about 50 feet, I'd say that the fangirling alone... Well, I'd say that the fangirling along the way made us tired. Okay, <laughs> just pull the lever, and all the 
prisoners will be transported to the super galaxy. AKA a big ass plane. BMJ tried to BMJ tried to say without crying, but failed miserably. Oops. I pull on the lever and the gears above the room start turning, and the huge garage door at the end of the hallway where we're at starts to lift. Once the door is open, it reveals what looks like an empty helipad. Where's the plane? Yemo asks. BMJ Scranty, where is the fucking plane? BMJ nudges me. I definitely didn't do anything with the plane. Um, haven't you guys seen Wonder Woman? Uh, her invisible jet? BMJ says, looking mighty guilty. Flashback. BMJ's point of view. Hey, do you guys want anything at the store? I ask. Uh... Yeah, sure, give me some mac and cheese and mini tacos, Scranty says. Yemo doesn't answer because she's too busy headbanging to set it off to hear me. Okay, wait, mm. okay, I'll be back, I say as I go to look for my keys. Looking, looking, found them. Okay, just get in the car. Go to the store. <sighs> Engine noises, engine noises. Ooh, Betsy's got some power today. Two minutes of quote unquote driving. Wow, that was fast. Lands car on parking lot. Wait, uh. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Go to get groceries. Walks out, wait, oh crap. Walks out, here's, wait, walks out, sees a giant plane in the Walmart parking lot. What the fuck? What dumbass landed their plane in the Walmart parking lot? I say walking away. I hope they have insurance. Why is New Zealand so weird? Wait, did I drive here? Eh, I probably walked. End of flashback. Taylor's point of view. I turn to Yemo and see rage in her eyes. Well, shit. 